top door lighting, soft glow or full on glitz. Lighting brings a fantastic atmosphere to any garden. And why would you only use your garden during the day? There are so many incredibly creative ways of using lighting, but there are some practical considerations as well. There's safety when it comes to paths and steps, and security to consider too, be it out at the back of your house or perhaps to illuminate a driveway. As a rule, relaxation areas work best with subtle lighting effects, whereas paths and steps need, well, brighter illumination. But it's important that the light used there is focused on the job at hand. You don't want giant floodlights from ruining the ambiance elsewhere in the garden. And remember, sunlight doesn't discriminate. Whereas in the night garden, you get to pick out your favourite features, keeping the shed and the bins in the shadows. Uplighting is a technique favoured by all garden and landscape designers. Statues, water features, even trees. And I love uplighting trees, especially those with interesting bark. Plants like birch and Tibetan cherry and snake bark maple look almost otherworldly when lit from below. All you do is you stick a spotlight in at the base of the tree and then allow the light to shine up so you get this gorgeous shadow play and shifting light up in the canopy. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, of course, with all lighting, but especially quite powerful spotlights like these, if they're not in use, just make sure that you turn them off because, of course, you don't want to contribute to light pollution and it's just a waste of energy too. These post lights made of polished stainless steel add a real contemporary note to this patio. And importantly, the light isn't stark and harsh. It's soft and mellow and casting a beautiful atmospheric glow. These lights need wiring into the mains, so you'll need a qualified electrician to put them into your garden. They will also provide a switch indoors to turn the lights on and off. In addition, your electrician will be able to provide electrical sockets like this, which are safe outdoors in the wet. Lighting and water is a match made in heaven. Here, these downlighters are not only grazing the wall, but they're casting pools of light into the water below. But even better than using lighting and still water is using lighting and moving water, because you get these fantastic reflections on the wall behind. As well as looking good, these lights perform an important safety function. Either side of the steps here, they help highlight the fact that the steps are here and therefore you can walk around freely even if it's pitch black outside. They're also really useful if you've got a deck, for example, and you don't want guests to topple off into the flower beds when you're having an alfresco entertaining evening. I've just rigged up here an example of the LED lights that are available to you. You'll see there are different sizes and there are different colours which you could plump for. And the one in the middle here has even got a little switch attached, meaning that you can change the colour to whatever colour you fancy. These lights are low voltage 12 volt lights and you can just install these ones yourself, unlike mains lights, which of course need an electrician. But importantly, let me show you something because what makes these lights really stand out is the attention to detail. They're perfectly sort of positioned in the deck here, equidistant apart, there's no sort of broken edges, there's no splintered timber, and it's that detail which counts, because they really do look the business when they're installed properly. Each kit of lights comes with all the right transformers, cables and fixings, so you won't be left in the dark. Uh, but if you're in any doubt about installing them yourself, consult a qualified electrician. Party lights bring fun, flair and exuberance to any occasion. And there are lots of different lights and loads of different ways of using them too. You could, well, wrap them around tree trunks, you could trail them through hedges, attach them to your house and they can dangle like this. There are so many ways to do it. In fact, just, just, just go with it, have fun. It is a party after all. These lights look fantastic amongst this boxed hedge. They're like little green flowers and well, they just make you smile, don't they? Now, of course, all temporary party lights can't be left outside all year round in all weathers because they're not waterproof, and that goes for the extension lead too. So remember to take them both in after the festivities are over. These ones are quite cool, aren't they? They're like little white paper Chinese lanterns.
solar lights are useful at party time too and they work on a very simple principle. On the top here, you've got a little solar panel and all you do is you pop the light outside during the day so that they can charge the battery inside. And then come night time, come party time, you simply spike them into position using the spike on the bottom. They aren't going to flood the garden with light, but that's not the purpose. They're there as a little detail to cast little pools of soft ambient glows. For more illuminating ideas on garden lighting, pick up our garden living brochure, visit DIY.com or pop into your local store.